Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. I'm playing a series of videos I've been doing for a little while. I go over there, trap food and drink items. I eat the stuff. I drink stuff. Then, folks, eh, eh I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. It does kind of seem like I'm, like, in the middle of the movie The Mist. It's super foggy out today. But anyway, folks, super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. Whilst I'm doing all that, folks... I am wearing grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing grody work clothes, that means it's on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. That is absolutely the case today. I went over there, just got off work. Well, actually, I got off work about an hour ago now. Uh, got off of work and I was like, all right, well, I know I need a few supplies. I'm going to head on out to the Jewel. If you're unfamiliar, Jewel is a, it's a supermarket chain in Illinois. And... Went out to Jewel, I'm perusing around looking for potential items and stuff, you know, along with the things that I actually want to get. And wouldn't you know it, I found some shit to review. So, what is the first thing that I'm going to review for you folks? Well, it's BOOM! It's ROAR! ROAR! It is Roar Organic Blueberry Acai Naturally Flavored Vitamin Enhanced Beverage. With antibiotics, antioxidants, vitamins, electrolytes, it's a complete hydration, is USDA Organic, Three grams of sugar per bottle, but it is gluten-free, vegan, keto-friendly, and then it's got a bunch of vitamins and all that good stuff. One of the things I was looking at, though, was the sugar content. It's like, oh, it's three grams of sugar. Now, it is. It's three grams per bottle, but it's also 2%, or it's one gram added sugar, and then this one threw me 7%, or I'm sorry, seven grams of sugar alcohol. I don't know what that is. I mean, I know you, you know, you can make alcohol, which, you know, I, I don't know. So I'm not sure what the fuck this is exactly, but sure. They had a few other flavors, but I'm just going to review this one for right now. Can we get a thing with the thing? Can we get a thing with the thing? Maybe? Ha 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 Sure, let's give it a go. I is thirsty, so. Whoo! That's got some, it's got some stank on it. I hope this isn't like some kombucha bullshit, man. I don't like kombucha. And, well, it's not exactly like kombucha. Kombucha, I don't fucking, I don't understand kombucha, man. I got a couple cousins who like it. Like, oh, you, you know, you, like, you should try kombucha. I've tried kombucha. I don't, I can't get along with it. Um... I mean, there's definitely isn't in kombucha, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. P personally, for me, I could have done with more than three grams of sugar plus the added sugar plus the sugar alcohol. And mind you, like, I think it's great that, like, we have these offerings that are lower sugar, or even zero sugar. I genuinely think that's awesome. Um, but <laughs> sometimes kind of needs it. This one... This is, like, kind of halfway between a flavored water and a juice. Like, it's not quite as viscous enough to really be, like, a juice. It's definitely more on the water end. But then, at the same time, it has a lot more flavor than, like, a typical flavored water. So, it's, like, somewhere in between there. And, again, it's naturally flavored. It's just a vitamin-enhanced beverage. They're not even going one way or the other with it. Um, it's okay. I don't hugely love it but i'm gonna be the first person to admit that i think a lot of that is just personal preference in this one because i don't think it's a bad product um but they definitely leaned a bit heavily into the tartness of the blueberry versus the sweetness and i'm not a huge like tart person you know i i like I, it can be fine but you need to balance it with something that's why blueberries are nice because they have the sweetness and the tartness this has some sweetness to be fair but not quite enough, in my opinion, to offset the level of tartness. And it's not super tart, but it's more tart than it is sweet. And I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't hugely get along with it. I 
I mean, and I think it's like coconut water, basically. Organic coconut water from Concentrate. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Organic cane sugar, organic fruit and vegetable juice. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. I don't know. I'm not, like I said, I don't think I'm huge into it. Um, it's definitely not going to be, <laughs> it's definitely not going to be added to my shelves as like a regular drink. It's not bad. I... I could see the market for this. I just fully understand that I am not that market. It's flavor wise, it's not bad. It is flavorful too. Let me emphasize that. Like it's not, you know, like a lot of flavored waters and stuff are very pitiful with the, the actual flavor. This, you know, no, it has, you know, it has some, some proper flavor to it. And you can, I wouldn't, there's definitely a blueberry aspect to it. I wouldn't say that it is really punching through with the blueberry. It's definitely like, you know, they say it's like a fruit and juice blend or whatever. That makes sense to me. I'm sure blueberries are part of that. But, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like it, I guess, a little bit, but not too much. It's, it's one of the, like, I'll gladly drink the rest of it. But, I mean, two questions ultimately have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? No, and kind of. For me personally, like I said, I just it doesn't doesn't work with my palate that well. Um, uh, you know, again, it's not an overly tart drink, but it's tart enough for me that I just I don't know. Yeah, I will give it this. It's refreshing. I will say that it is refreshing. Uh, it's not a heavy drink or anything like that. You know, there's no like weird funky aftertaste or anything. It definitely has its its benefits in terms of just flavor and drinking experience. But I think there's other stuff out there that personally I prefer the flavor of that probably hit at a similar point. But it's not a bad product. It's just not a product for me. That's why if I'm recommending it, kind of. Like, to certain people, absolutely. I think if you're somebody who you're already kind of into you know, like the alternative juice waters, that kind of shit and everything. I think you probably would be perfectly fine. I imagine if you like kombucha, you would probably like this. Kombucha tends to be, the ones that I've had, tend to be annoyingly tart. This is nowhere near as tart as kombucha, though. Let me, let me point that out. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's one of those things. I think if you think you're the market for it, I think you're the market for it. I think if you're not the market for it, I don't think it's going to be necessarily for you. But it does depend on just kind of what your personal flavor profile is. Because, again, it's not. I don't think it's a bad product or anything, but I just think you have to kind of be in that specific rung of what they're trying to sell to. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Dependence rest of your folks. Go over there. Have yourselves a truly roar-tastic rest of your life because like when i think of roars i always think of the lion from the mgm stuff the roar that's that's where my brain goes i have a tiny cat so you know that's my my thing with him is you just or with her she's just, and it's like you're just a tiny little cat and you make tiny cat meows she's like meow it's adorable anyway final two things number one try to bring some positivity in the world it's not always possible it is however always appreciated but what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You're gonna try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and bullshit. Sometimes we just have to deal with it. You know, it'd be nice if we didn't. It'd be nice if we could just deal with, you know, it's, that's like the whole thing, like the Bruce Lee quote. I don't even know if it's an actual quote by Bruce Lee, but it's always attributed to him. It's like, oh, don't don't pray for an easy life, you know. Pray for the strength to endure a hard life. No, I think I just prefer to have an easier life, typically. I think if there's anything that I, that I would have to take upon myself that would be more difficult, it would be something of my choosing. Like, you know, if I just wanted to, you know, like, I'm just going to start hitting the gym or, you know, something like that. I don't need the bullshit. I'll just fucking, I, I don't need to be over there and have my furnace crap out and then my fucking fridge crap out in the same week. I don't need that. I can deal, but I don't need it. <laughs> Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. 
Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, here's what I want you to do. Make sure, whenever possible, try to keep up on your appliances. You know, I mean, they're not going to last forever and shit. Like I said, you don't want to be in the spot I was in where it was just like, well, it's cold in the house, but it's warm in the fridge. <laughs> what the fuck? Now, to be fair, I did get both things eventually working again. You know, just through sheer dumb fuck luck. But, you know, it is important. And, and you know, beyond that, you know, just go over there, be on your appliances. You know, make sure you take care of yourself and all that good stuff. Make sure you especially take care of the people around you that you love and care about. All that good stuff, folks. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Bye!